Alexander Smotrov in London. He is Global Council's lead on Central and Eastern Europe, Russia and Eurasia. He also worked for a decade as chief UK correspondent at the leading Russian news agency. Alexander, uh, great to have you on. I'd like to hear your reaction to Russia removing its top commander in Ukraine just three months after he was installed. Why would Russia do that? Uh, is this another sign of Russia's failing military operations? Um, hi, it, uh, there might be uh, several layers of um, uh, reasons here. Uh, and uh, first and foremost, uh, obviously, as the situation on the ground uh, evolves, uh, and there is some kind of frustration or maybe a little bit of kind of bitterness uh, from the Russian side about um, the events of recent few weeks when Russia was basically retreating and uh, probably they want to move on a little bit with this and kind of leaving that uh, behind with uh, Sir Viking's, uh time um, at the high command and now opening a new chapter and which might signify a change of uh, strategy, change of tactics on the ground with the more offensive and um, uh, some new, um, uh, new um, operational um, um, activities by um, uh, Gerasimov. On the other hand, it's also a bit uh, of a political dimension here, because as you uh, have seen, as your colleagues reported, so the role of this um, Wagner mercenary group uh, in the Solidar operation and in, the, uh, in other recent operations is becoming a bit too um, overwhelming, and maybe it's a slight sign of worry and irritation uh, in the Kremlin. That's why they want to recapture the um, narrative here with um, appointment of Gerasimov, who is always uh, a more kind of mainstream uh, person and to be um, kind of a new, uh, fresh lead here uh, to, um, to, 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 to shift the balance uh, uh, domestically as well and to prove the role, the leading role of the um, uh, Minister of Defense and the general staff in the operation rather than give too much ground to, uh, to the Wagner group. Uh, yeah, why are we seeing that conflicting narrative in Russia? We have the Wagner Group uh, saying that its forces are in full control of Solidar, but the Russian Defense Ministry releasing a statement that contradicts that claim. Is that hinting um, at uh, divisions in the country's military leadership when it comes to the Wagner Group and, and the Defense Ministry? Yeah, it might be a reflection of this, obviously, and um, uh, a reflection of competition between different factions uh, here and when the uh, sometimes uh, people want to present things uh, in a better light than they are uh, in reality, and uh, the reports from the ground, all these conflicting and competing messages, just confirm uh, this. Um, also, uh, if you remember last week, there was this attempt to announce the military truce uh, for the Orthodox Christmas, which the uh, official uh, Ministry of Defense and uh, other um, official military uh, commanders uh, tried to stick to, while uh, Wagner uh, uh, Group didn't feel obliged to um, uh, to uphold this. Uh, so this also uh, a reflection of uh, competition and some kind of rivalry uh, there. So yeah, uh, it, it, it could be uh, definitely a, a reflection of this, but uh, also, um, you know, the situation is the tough, really, and um, it's far from uh, definite and some kind of certain. So it's, it's still developing very much uh, uh, life, and um, you can't tell for definite uh, so where, who, who is uh, taking an upper hand at, uh, at the moment. All right, Alexander Smotrov joining us from London. Thank you for your insight there.